So we have been doing Ireland via camper van. And I'm going to give you a tour of our messy camper van before we give it back, even though it's a disaster. So, hi everybody, my name is Shayla and I do these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time for the past two years and I make these videos every week to inspire you and encourage you to create the life you want to live. This week I am in Ireland. hotel in Dublin currently, but for the past week I've been in a camper van cruising all around the northern part of the country. Let's, let's start outside. Here is the camper van. Which we parked outside of a 24 hour gas station, which has showers. And this morning we learned that it has coffee and breakfast, which is really handy. We put this thing up so that we can stand up. And there's a bed a stove, there's a sink, and a fridge. I don't really know what else to show. So now we're about to clean this up and head to Dublin for the day. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you tips about all of Ireland and tips for going in a camper van. Let me tell you about this trip. We arrived in Dublin and we had absolutely no plan. For the past couple of months, we've been on Instagram and like sending back and forth. We had a shared notes like on the iPhone, make a list of all the places that we thought were cool. Once we got the camper van, we went to a coffee shop and we're like, all right, so we're here in Ireland, we should probably plan our trip now. Seems like now or never. Just grabbed a couple napkins, drew a circle, and that was Ireland. And we went through the list and kind of put it on the map, my napkin circle map. And the cafe owner's like, stop, that's your map. Calls over his girlfriend. No way, that's amazing, lad. Yeah. This is amazing, look. See this here, see these, no, 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 stop, watch this. See this spot here. Yeah. Yes, you're going here and here, and you're going past my town of Donegal. So ecstatic that I'm not sure if he's joking or, and like making fun of me or if he's serious. And we rented the camper van from Lazy Days, and Sue, who is amazing, said we should choose either Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland. I don't want to see all the things. I want to see less things, more in depth. We decided on Northern Ireland. Sue told us that that was like kind of more the less touristy area. We left the coffee shop and we headed straight for Galway. And I'm not gonna lie, Galway was pretty much exclusively because of Ed Sheeran's song, Galway Girl. Lucky for me, Seth knew how to drive a manual. Unfortunately for him, he knew how to drive a manual. The driver is on the right side. And notice that it's still manual. He's driving on the other side of the road and having to shift with his left hand. So we get to Galway and we park the van on the street. The Irish start drinking like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they start drinking at lunchtime. So when you go out at like 10, it's 10 o'clock and, and they are, they have been drinking for a while already. Now. So we found this tiny, hot, packed, loud bar and we were like, that's the one, that's the one we need to have our Guinness in. Just to see you again the ripple of the toast street. Just to see you again the ripple of the I said the toast street. If you're in the bar before 12, you can stay until it closes. But if you are outside of the bar after 12, you can't go in. We didn't really know. So we cruise back to the van. And we sleep there for the night, and then we wake up early and we leave before the meter people come. Seemed reasonable. We go to Sligo, park the car, and I ask the parking lady where should we go get food. Well, there's a small little pub on the corner over there. Ask the bartender what there is to do. She tells us to go to Strand Hill. Via our bartender's suggestion, we have taken the camper van to Strand Hill. We've got the ocean here and hill up here, which we're about to go hiking. These sand dunes, and there was a little fence and a sign that said, don't go over the fence. But it wasn't hard to jump over, so we went all the way up into the sand dunes. And the view up there was amazing, and it was sunset. And the sun doesn't set here until like 11 o'clock. So we're watching the sunset for like two hours. Then we're like, okay, we need to find a place to park because this parking said no overnight parking. There's a campground right next door, so we walk over to the campground, it's closed. Oh, uh, well, do we just park there? Let's just pop in this bar and ask them what to do. They started talking to this guy, and he's like, well, actually, I can find you a place to park for the night. And he's like, and go inside and get some pizza. So I go inside, or try to order some pizza. I'm like the person that comes in at closing time and it's like, can I get a pizza? Just an easy one, like a pepperoni pizza. Yeah, the kitchen is closed. So I walk back outside and it must have been the owner that I was talking to or like a manager or something. And he's like, the kitchen is not closed. Now I have to go drink a beer from the bartender that I just like ratted out. Sorry, I didn't mean to tattle. Like I wasn't trying to tattle. 
I was just trying to get some pizza. He was Irish, so he's like, ah, it's no big deal. What do you want to drink? So there's two giant mounds, Strand Hill and Ben something. I see. Balvin. What? Ben Balvin. <laughs> ben Balvin. Thank you. So in the morning, we got up to hike and the van was dead. And I'm not really sure why it was. Probably, most definitely not my fault. <laughs> Maybe it was. So I'm like, all right, no problem. There's cars everywhere. Here comes a car right now. Hey, guy. Van's dead. Do you mind joining us? Actually, I'm really late for work, so no, I can't. Cool. Have a great day. Enjoy, enjoy your mobility. Then some other guy with a camper van comes up and is like, oh, that's a nice van you got there. I was like, yeah, it is, except for it's dead right now. So do you mind jumping us? He jumps us, and he's looking at the two mountains that we want to hike, and he's like, honestly, Ben Balvin is pretty, like, rainy. You should go hike Strand Hill. So via this guy's recommendation, even though we wanted to hike the other one, we said fine. And when we got to the top of this mountain, there was like rocks stacked up, which was apparently there's a queen buried inside. Then we came down from the hike and we're like, okay. Actually, Seth was like, okay, it's day three, we need to shower. And I was like, I could probably shower in the campground. So I tried just sneaking in, but there was locks. So we went to the front desk and it was really simple. They just gave us the key and told us that it cost to use the showers. When you're going around the country in a caravan, showering is kind of a tricky thing. But we just learned that you can come to a campground and get in their showers for like two years. Very, very simple. Headed to Sleeve League. And were we hungry at this point? Was this like our hangry moment? Yeah. We were both just getting hangry at each other. And like, even for a moment, we had to be like, look, it's not you. It's hangry. The sun is so deceiving, so at like 10 o'clock when you realize you're hungry, everything's closed. So all you can do is eat gas, gas station food. Grumpy, grumpy. And I tell Seth, take the second exit to get out of the roundabout. What does he do? He takes the first exit. And I'm like, where are you going? And he's headed to Donegal Castle because the first guy in the cafe told us that's where he's from. And so we recognized the name, so he went that way. It's literally 11 o'clock at night. The castle's gonna be closed, why are we doing this? And all of a sudden we come up on a street festival, like a street music festival, like the coolest thing ever. Moods change immediately, and we cruise into the town and we start drinking, and there was like two guys, two younger guys that I saw, and they were like, hey, I'll meet you in the Abbey, and I was like, Seth, I think I know where we should go. And I was right. That's what eavesdropping will get you. It'll get you a good time. like a beanie on and a scarf and like five shirts on and I was like sweating, trying to dance, getting all sweaty. Seth goes to the bathroom and I start reconning and I like ask the security guard, how late do you guys open? And they're like, I don't know, three? It's like, three? Three o'clock? I'm in all this like sweat gear. I need to go get changed. So Seth gets out of the bathroom and I'm like just doing cartwheels in this bar and I'm like, we need to go get changed and get ready for going out because there's a, there's a nightclub downstairs and the live music's about to start. So we'd like pretty much just are holding hands, skipping back to the van. We go change in the van and then we go back and we rage. And luckily for us there as well, we could park overnight and on Sundays it was free parking. So we just got to sleep in and then we headed to Sleeve Lake. Clips that are higher than the cliffs of Mower. Go walk the ridge. There's like these giant mountains that are bigger than the cliffs of Moher. There's like there are people there, but like not that many people. And Seth sees people climbing up along the ridge, and he's like, "That's where we should go." And I was like, "That's where." That's where yeah, no, that's where we should go for sure. That was probably a three hour hike. All the way up to the top. Not even, we didn't go all the way to the top because before we got to the top, I was getting real grumpy. I had no water, I had no food. I had these white chucks on that it was like misty, so everything was just like dirty. And I'm normally like, I can't have nice things because I can't keep nice things. But these chucks were brand new. They were like blinding, they were so bright. Not anymore. Cruised from Sleeve Lake over to Belfast. We got into Belfast last night and parked the van in front of a castle on a harbor. Belfast was a very, very interesting place. Everybody told us, like, 
you can feel a difference in Belfast and you can. So everybody said do the black cab tour, black cab tour, black cab tour. So after plugging it in three times into the GPS and having the GPS take me to a neighborhood, forget the black cab tour, we're not doing that anymore. Just go to the city center and find the visitor center and ask for a black cab tour. Do not plug it in your GPS. So we went to Starbucks and I'm trying to pay and he's like, oh no, we only take Sterling. And I'm like, oh yeah. Because Northern Ireland is part of the UK, so they use pounds. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. But like, do you consider yourself Irish or? The moment I asked that question, I wanted to eat my words. Because this kid's body language at Starbucks, well, it uh, depends on, it, that's, it depends. Uh, never mind, sorry I asked, don't answer the question. And after the black cab tour where I learned about the history, about the British coming in and the Irish not wanting them in, lots of things happening. I learned that that is a very, very controversial question, so don't ask it. You could tell that there was definitely a British influence, and the British were very strong about their presence, and like, they were there. And the Irish in Belfast, the most Gaelic-speaking people there than anywhere else. It's a very conflicting place. There's a giant wall that separates the two, so that there's not a lot of violence. But it was very interesting to learn the history. Highly recommend a Black Cap tour. Now we're back in Dublin. Just went to a bar last night, like a little pub that was at Galway brewery. Had a couple of drinks, met a couple locals, might be working in a castle by the end of the year. The tips that I have for Ireland are everyone is so nice. All the people are so nice. If you run into any problems, if you don't know anything, if you have any questions, just ask. Ask anybody. Try a Guinness, even if you don't like Guinness. The Guinness here tastes different. It's like creamier and fuller and more flavor. Definitely do it by camper van. It's a great way to see Ireland. It's a great way to have like mobility and just to be able to go wherever you want. But make sure you know somebody that drives a manual and is confident about driving on the wrong side of the car and road. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video. Share it with anybody that you know who's going to Ireland and who likes the van life. And I will talk to you guys all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye.